Hey everybody, it's your old buddy Jimbo. Back at it again. Blue collar beer review. One beer, one take. All for y'all. And we're going to continue our beers around the world. Yeah, beers around the world. We're, we're in a totally different continent uh, today. We are. It's going to be awesome. This is, a, this, is a, this is another beautiful and majestic place. From what I hear. <laughs> so let's get right at it. This beer is brewed by Savardia and it's St. Gallen and it's out of Terezo Polos, Brazil. If I'm saying it remotely correct. Terezo Polos, Brazil. I'm saying it kind of Italian, but I think there's probably Italian. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm almost positive. <laughs> and um, this beer, is, it's, it's, it says a bunch of stuff on it. So it says, imported beer, established, 1880. Sol Americana, cerveza, beer, bia. And this bia is a German style pilsner. And we love German style Pilsners. They're pretty much the go-to beer. They're like the standard. And we like, you know, sometimes we like standard, just the, 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 the standard, the regular. And um, there's, uh, there's lots of German folk in South America, you know, a lot of Germans headed that way after WW2 for assorted reasons. But we won't get into that. That's, that's someone else's business. <laughs> so let's just remember that. So 1880, that's, uh, that's pretty impressive. They've been around, you know, they've been around almost 150 years. So this beer's got some history to it, and um, yeah. Oh, okay. This size of this beer, it's another unique size. It's one pint, point four, point two nine fluid ounces. So it, it's a good sized beer. It's uh, I'm gonna be hard pressed to get all this into this. I don't know, but what I do know is I will get all of this into this. <laughs> that's not a problem. Getting all this bottle into here, that might be a problem. But getting all this fluid ounces into here, not a problem. So rest assured there, all right? The ABV on this, eh, it's nothing special. It's 5% ABV. So it's really not a big beer. It's just a standard uh, German Pilsner, really. It's a little less than American, a standard American beer. But, you know, we're always, we're lightweights when it comes to, when it comes to our standard Pilsners, you know, our, our Buds and, and Millers and all that. Uh, those are, uh, yeah. So I'm really interested. I'm really stoked about, about tasting this. I've never had, I mean, I've had a gazillion Pilsners. We all have, if you drank beer at all, everybody's had Pilsners. But I've never really had, I, not that I know of, maybe I have, but I've never had a beer that I totally selected from Brazil. So, and, uh, you know, where's it from? Uh, Terezopolis? <laughs> To raise a ball is, you know, you know, Spanish and Italiano, it, it's a very similar language. If you can speak one, you can communicate with the other. I've seen them do it. So I, I think if I say this with an Italian accent or a little bit of one, I, I think it's allowed. I, I Forgive me if I'm wrong. <laughs> so... You know, we're going to do the double dump. We might have to do the triple dump on this one because it's a little bigger bottle of beer. Um, I'm fairly dehydrated. And this is going to be 
just wonderful. I think it's going to be wonderful. I think that this is going to really be a celebration of wonderfulness because it's beer, right? And we love beer. Should I tell you the ingredients in it? It's pretty simple. It's um, all that's in it. It's a wheat barley and malt barley, yeast, and water. That's it. So it's your total German style Pilsner. Super simple, but crafted. It's, it, it's, it's gonna be crafted really well with great ingredients. And it's going to be, I think it's just gonna be refreshing and delicious. So let's do it. Let's crack it open. We're gonna do the double dump. We'll do the look, listen, and smell. And then I'm gonna hammer this puppy. And then we're gonna all go about our merry way. So let's do it. No special top on this. No poppy poppy, no twisty twisty. Just a good old bottle opener. Bang! Done. Look at that. A little gun barrel going on there. Pew, pew, pew. And I really don't smell anything yet. Sometimes it's a big power smell you get from this, but <laughs> my mouth's watering already. It's like, it's like as soon as I hit that, as soon as that comes off, it happens. So let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to try to do a professional pour and but I want to get some head on this so we can see what it's going to be like. And then maybe I'll add some more in as, look at that. It's just lovely. Oh, look at that. Oh, there was a bubble on the bottle. I think that's good luck. Look at that. It's not a huge, super thick head. It's a big, nice head. Really lovely bottle. bubbles. Super white, super wonderful. It's loud. It's loud. It's really cracking. Wow, it's it's nice. It's still holding its head too. It's it's burning down some, but the bubbles. Look at the color. It's it's a nice color. It's a little hazy actually. It's not. You can't you can't totally see through it, which is pretty cool. A lot of these pilsners, you know, they're. Um, They've got color to them, but you can see right through them. They're clear. This one is kind of hazy. It's got a little bit of a haze to it, which uh, I think that bodes well for it. Let's see if we can get it all in there. I, there there's a, there's that much of this bottle left, and there's that much. It's going to be really tight. Oh boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's a win right there. That's a W. Win, lose, or draw. We made that happen. That's a tall beer to drink. That's a, that's <laughs> that's 600 milliliters. They've got milliliters on here. That's why they're so weird. They, they like they round them up to like an even number milliliters, and then when they come over here, they're like, oh, it's one point four point two six fluid ounce at two nine. It's crazy. Oh, did I smell it? I didn't. Oh, it smells lovely. It smells like wonderful beer, like just wonderful. There's like, it's that beer smell. Straight up, plain beer smell. No overpowering alcohol, no super hoppy pine cones, no, no sweet, uh, super bitter smell to it. It just smells like good old fashioned beer. So, Yeah. Salut. L'chaim. <sighs> oh. 
Oh my lord. <laughs> oh wow. Look at that Brussels lace on there. It's a total wonderful German beer. Wow, what a great flavor. What a perfect amount of carbonation in it. Super smooth. Top of the mouth. My the top of my mouth is totally covered with it. It's got a great aroma to it. Now that I've drank it and I was breathing as I was drinking it, super, super heady stuff right here. This is a great beer. Look at that. Look at it hanging on there. Oh, yeah. Sul Americana. Most definitely Jimbo approved. This is a really good beer. This is a strong beer. If you And I mean strong as in it's a strong contender. It's not strong as far as the ABV or anything like that. This is just a strong contender for a Pilsner. This is a really well-crafted, super delicious, easy-drinking beer. And um, look at you go, Brazil. You came in heavy. And, and I'm pretty impressed because, you know, when you're trying to set yourself apart when you're just making a regular standard Pilsner, you know, it, it's hard to really set yourself apart and you're just making a good old fashioned regular beer, but they've definitely done it here. It's a product of Brazil, Brazil, Sal Americana, 1880. Pick some up, pick one up, do yourself a favor. This is a really good beer. <sighs> wow. It's just delicious. It's the gift that keeps giving. Hey, listen, I hope you have a great week. I hope you had a great week. Remember, beer is love. I love beer. I love y'all. And we need to just uh, drink more beer and we can figure this all out. All right? Hey, leave a like, tell a friend, or um, definitely leave a comment. I love y'all. Hey, you're buddy Jimbo.